All right, what's up, y'all? You already know I got some new information for y'all. It's gonna be good. Let me tell y'all what's up with this one for real. All right, so um, basically saying like we got some new badges for y'all. Some new badges, and it is like it's gonna be amazing. For one, let's get straight into playmakers, playmaker shot creators, or oh, shot creating playmaker. Yeah, there we go. Shot creating playmakers. Let's go into that one first. Let's look at this page. And you can already see that it actually tells you all the badges that you're gonna get. The reason why we don't see more is because he hasn't went down. But if you see that scroll bar, then you can definitely see that there's more to show. So we get, well, not we, but playmakers, uh, shot creating playmakers get flashy passer, pick and roll maestro, lob city passer, diamond, and one man fast break all on Hall of Fame. They also get ankle breaker and break starter on gold. Now, if you notice, break starter was not something that playmakers got. <laughs> On at least that high so like if you if you wanted to pass the ball down and you wanted to get Hall of Fame breaks down or whatever it was out of the question because that was not for you that was just strictly for glass cleaners but but that also goes into play about pure playmakers pure playmakers they get Hall of Fame all those Hall of Fame badges I mentioned and then they also get a Hall of Fame break starter now this is gonna be something nice because a lot of playmakers the uh, a lot of playmakers always wanted to know why they didn't get a Hall of Fame break starter considering that they're passing the ball. Me, I can see why they didn't get it because they're not really going to get boards and be throwing it all the way down the court. But it's going to also play an effect whenever, you know, let's say they do get the board and pass it down the court. So that's good. That is nice. And also these are point guards. So keep an eye on that. These are point guards. The higher the, the, arc the role you play as in the 3, 1, 2, 4, 5, aka... You know, point guard, shooting guard, small four, respective up. It depends on that as well. Also, we have the menu for 2K19 for the prelude. Now, you got my career, you got info, and you got 2KU as usual. It's almost like it's like that every year. So, we're going to be seeing this on Friday. It's going to be cool. It's going to be nice. Nothing too big about it. I mean, it's nice. Hopefully, they make it a lot longer than what it usually is. 2K18. Prelude was garbage. It gave no little to nothing. You literally play like three or four games with the with the character that literally you might as well just play with a normal character or average character because you was you was sixty overall. You saw it was over. We also have this new piece of information. Glass cleaners are also gonna be seeing the boost. Also, glass cleaners are gonna be seeing a big boost in attributes. They are no longer just getting boards and all of that. Just that's literally all they do. It's none of that, none of that anymore. They also get defensive shooting and athleticism boost. So that's a plus for y'all glass cleaners that's out there, as well as y'all take a badge. They're also, the biggest jump in badges are post scores, which they get difficult shots, tear droppers, and basically their range game is getting up. The three, not so much, but mid range, yeah, they're getting, they're starting to become dominant. Also, 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 one of the things they changed. All the hot zones for NBA, uh, for my career, park, program, all of that, etc. It's no longer going to be uh, kept together. It's all different. They will all have their own hot spots and hot zones. So no more grinding in my career, getting your hot spots and then coming out to the park or program. No, you got to earn them respectively. And uh, basically, yeah, that will determine where your hot spots are. So you have to earn your, earn your role. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna be splashing in my career and bring that out to the park. You gotta earn it. Now that's a cool feature. I actually don't mind that at all. Now also, that the also last but not least, badges have gone through a lot of adjustments, such as did I? It actually activates more often now. So be careful with those shot creators and their contested shots. So <laughs> and also the sharpshooters. Hopefully it won't be overpowered though. Ankle break and limitless range also have got a debuff. They got nerfed because they're not. We all know that that's, those badges are like one of the most overpowered ones, and they don't need to be at all. Defensive stopper has gotten stronger, considering that a lot of people with defensive stopper still get boomed on by freaking uh, slashers, and they also still uh, get shots made in their face. I, for one, have a lot down with Hall of Fame, so I know how that feels when a sharpshooter pulls my face and makes it. I'm just like, how? from limitless range you know what i'm saying like it's just kind of bull crap but basically that's all we have so far and it's good it's looking good the game's starting to actually you know come together starting to listen to the community and whatnot so it's actually starting to come well so hopefully we get more information by the end of the day if so i might make another video if not then i'm gonna just leave y'all with this until then i'm gonna see you guys when i see you guys peace I wish that I can rewind.